What's going on, everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. And today is Julian Edelman's birthday. And I saw that tweet today. I saw a couple of things on Instagram, and there was that outstanding catch he had against the Atlanta Falcons in Super Bowl 51. And it got me thinking a lot as to why Julian Edelman is a Hall of Famer. And for some reason, there's this debate where people don't want to admit that Julian Edelman is one of the best postseason receivers we've ever had, and he's a for sure Hall of Famer. Sure fire, in my opinion. Throughout this video, I do want to demonstrate some of the clips that I found, and this was just a very quick combing through of his Super Bowls and postseason history, not even looking at the regular season. And we're going to take a look at some of the most clutch catches in NFL history. Now, before we dive into all of this, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Cam, that would mean the world to me, as well as to Jackson Kruger Sports, an outstanding human being who I have uh, had the privilege of working with, and it's been nothing but, uh, nothing but a good time. So, if you could hit that subscribe button to both of our channels, that would mean the world to me. One more thing that I want to plug before we dive too far into this video is these Affinity Masks made by my good friend Uncle Eric. He's doing a lot to help out the medical community as well as citizens who just want to be a little bit more sanitary. Now these masks are reusable and he gave me a little discount code to give to the people. Discount code CAM you see right there to the right of the screen. I'll highlight it right there. Bam! Give you a quick two bucks off at checkout. Twenty bucks reusable mask. We gotta use them so you might as well help support somebody that I know makes great quality products as far as masks go and video content. So go ahead and click that link in the description if you would want one of these masks. And with all that being said, let's dive on into this video. And with all that being said, let's dive into this video. Starting off with clip number one to me, you know, Julian Edelman really came onto the scene in Super Bowl 49. And this was against that Legion of Boom defense who ran, you know, they ran stuck in that cover three or cover one in this video. And it, going into this Super Bowl, there was a lot of chatter of, you know, could the New England receivers, could Tom Brady really hang with the Legion of Boom? And to my, in my opinion, I sat there and said, look, if they try and stretch these guys vertically up the field, they're not going to stand a chance. But if they can stretch these guys laterally, horizontally, force them to cover sideline to sideline, that's where they're going to have success. Right? Edelman just on this quick little short motion, just like we saw in that AFC Championship game a couple of years back, or actually just last year. And then he's going to run this crosser right across the field. Again, we create that separation just because of the route combination right here. And then Edelman running full speed, catching full speed, and then being able to turn the corner and get upfield. And to me, he's one of the more prolific receivers when he has the ball in his hand. It's so hard to tackle Julian Edelman. He is slippery. He is elusive. This to me is one of the career defining plays for Julian Edelman, right? And this is that third and 14 where Brady ends up hitting this backside dig for about 16 yards on this, right? Edelman does a great job frictioning at the top of his route and then breaking that thing off again. He's just kind of slow playing it because this isn't Brady's first read on this play. This might be one of his last reads actually, right? This backside dig usually is, okay? And he's coming all the way across to this backside read. Middle of the field's wide open. We sling that thing in there. Now, of course, what draws me to this play is the catch through contact it's the hit after right and the fact that he's getting up and this is to me just one of those statement plays that you're making right you can see Brady looking he really wants to hit Gronk on this thing might have checked peaked at his check down here but he steps up in the middle of the field and that's going to draw Bobby Wagner right to this check down which is going to vacate a little bit of space there for Julian Edelman right behind Danny Amendola Hangs on to the ball uh, after a catch from that feared safety camp chancellor, and they're off for a first down and a huge gain. And then we go to later in that drive, right? These are these are literally plays and games that are etched in NFL history. And Julian Edelman's at the focal point of these. And check this one out, right? Again, third and eight. We're trying to work again. Seattle's just kind of working that that Tampa two, really. They run it a little bit differently. Drop their two safeties here. Bobby Wagner is going to get a little bit of a head on his drop, right? He's a little bit farther back and they're going to drop one of their defensive linemen. And this is an interesting way to run Tampa 2. It's, it's a smart way. It's a different way to run Tampa 2, right? Right here, he's supposed to come up in friction 3, stay right in front of 3. Well, I'm sorry, man. Defensive lineman's got no chance to get against Edelman. He's going to work right into that zone. Brady's going to find him, and there's a big first down. And again, I know what some of you might be thinking a couple clips into this. Cam, he's not working against premier corners. Hell, in the first couple of clips, one of them was against a defensive lineman. Uh, yeah, you're right. But you know what? He's working into these zones. He's making the catches on third and eight. What's Edelman supposed to do? Go out there and call out the best corner? No, that's not how football works. Football works with you making the plays in the situation where you're given that opportunity. 
Julian Edelman has been given that opportunity throughout his career, and he's made plays time and time again. Here's a, a game-winning touchdown, one to see, to to put the Patriots ahead, right? When run this little shake right at the bottom, stem them at the top, right? Yeah, a little push off. Who cares, man? This is a Super Bowl. If you're gonna cry about this, you don't deserve to be there. Push off, get in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Just a big time play from Edelman, time and time again. How about this one? Super Bowl 51, greatest comeback and arguably in sports history. Now, what the Falcons are running here is just a really simple man, right? They're just manned up across the board. They got their two safeties deep, boom and boom, okay? Now, what Edelman's going to do, he's stemming up the field, right? And he's trying to stack this DB and then get right back into the middle because we know that's where the middle of the field opens up against cover two, right? You can hit it out the sidelines out here with a couple of shake concepts, or you can try and bend across this back or whoever that middle of the field player is and find an opening right between these two safeties, which is exactly what the Patriots tried to do. Okay, we work past this defensive back who's trying to friction over the top here. This is a tough ball to throw, man. This is a tough ball to throw. Brady tries to throw it, it gets batted, and then Edelman just sticking with it. And once again, this isn't, this isn't, it, it's, it, it is a superhuman effort more than anything else. That's really what it is to me. And the fact that Edelman's not giving up on this play, he's not giving up on that ball. It's not just knocked down for an incomplete. He's fighting through it. He's trying to make that catch. And he's trying to make a play for his football team. Another just phenomenal performance from him, but I do want to highlight some other games so we don't focus too much on Super Bowl 51. Okay, now, the infamous AFC Championship game in Arrowhead. I mean, third down after third down after third down, right? Where we do this short motion, and then the crosser through the middle of the field, we're working up field with our number one receiver Edelman just wide open get him that ball but again he's getting hit as soon as he's catching this football as soon as he's making that catch he's got somebody laying into him breaking tackles picking up first downs finding that zone in the middle of the field this is what's the, the stuff that Julian Edelman does game in and game out right right here again we're going to work upfield here create a little rub route 35 has got to work cross we're going to work right into the middle of the field again on third down third and ten not like this is an easy down to convert Edelman, ball's right in the breadbasket, Edelman's there for the catch. Uh, that's, that's the trust because he creates that separation too. Edelman's great at running across the field. He's great at, at this speed where he's going to end up creating that separation. Now here, here's a great little game plan where you motion him across, you're never going gonna to get cover three, motion him back in, have him start this route out like he's running that crosser, and then he converts this thing into a shake because we know we're getting cover three, 21's going to back off, and there's going to be space right at the sidelines. So Edelman works this thing upfield, breaks it out to the sideline. Great route. Ball's on a line. Great job making that catch and getting upfield for a big game. Arguably one of his best games was Super Bowl 53. 100%. I, I can out absolutely see that because when you talk about Hall of Fame guys and, you know, what are they doing? Why are they Hall of Famers? Well, this is the biggest game in football, the Super Bowl, obviously. Everybody had their chance to cover Edelman and nobody could. Right? Here's Edelman once again. They're sticking with man. He's going to work this thing back out, almost like a little shake or a deep out, whatever you want to call it. Works out to that sidelines after he works off that friction and he's up for another big game. To me, Julian Edelman has done everything he needs to do, especially in Super Bowl 53, right? Marcus Peters had his chance. Akeem Tlaib had, had his chance. Uh, I believe that's Nikel Roby Coleman. Coleman had his chance. Okay, now here's a great move against Marcus Peters, right? We're going to do the same thing. I believe Kronk's going to kind of work to the middle of the field here, right? We're going to work out like we're going to take this thing on an arrow to the sidelines, and then we're going to stem this right up field. Great route from Edelman. To the sidelines, you get him to commit to the outside, and then we do a little swim move right by him, and we got a ton of space to work with the catch, and then, like I said, the yards after the catch. Working up field, taking your shots, and he gets up. He makes a statement right to the Rams. Just an outstanding game from Edelman in the Super Bowl 53. I mean, he to me, the, the question about whether Julian Edelman is a Hall of Famer is, is an ignorant one, to be honest with you. It just doesn't make sense. What hasn't this guy done? What more does he need to do? Because he's done everything that, that could be asked of of a Hall of Fame receiver. He's played on the biggest stages. He made He's made plays in the biggest games. Julian Edelman, happy birthday from one Patriots fan to you. Hope it's a wonderful day. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. I'm not really saying anything that nobody knows. Just maybe showing a little bit of the insides of what, what Julian Edelman's done for the New England Patriots. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me, as well as to Jackson Kruger Sports. Phenomenal human being, pumping out content left and right. Hit that subscribe button to him. 
Uh, with all that being said, guys, I'm sure I'll be back with some more content here soon. That's all I got for you to, for you guys today. Until I see you next time, stay safe, wash those hands, and uh, I'll see you next time, fellas.